moving on. Shout outs, TJ. Yeah. UFOs. I mean, is that Alien. the shout out? So I, I, here's my, my opinion on this. The guy that everyone's freaking out on the internet today because there was a, a Congress, a congressional hearing under oath mm -hmm. where it was revealed that there's alien evidence and people have been attacked by these aliens or injured by them and that we have bodies. It's the same guy that said it like a month ago that's saying it under oath now. So I don't know what, why everybody's yeah, freaking I guess, out. I guess the implication is that now he's under oath. So like now there's more weight to it because if he's lying, his life is ruined. Whereas like we could just laugh, we could just point and laugh at him before if he was lying and just call him crazy. So I guess like people think it's more legitimate now because if you're going to do, because as we know, nobody's ever lied under oath. It, it's, it's never happened in the history of the judicial system and Congress and everything else. Um, so for this guy to, to go under under oath and say these things, but what's weird to me is, isn't he just like, he, he's, it's not direct eyewitness testimony. It's like, I heard this and I... I also like, what's right? the risk factor of him saying this under oath? They can't prove that he's not telling the truth. Yeah, right, right. They can't prove that aliens don't exist. They can't explore no, the... Dude, like, this is, whoa, this is genius. What if that's what it is? Is that by saying this, now the only way to prove that he's lying is, is to, to explore every inch yeah, of yeah. every piece of the universe and be like, oh, Congress, I guess he was lying. get off your ass and start financing NASA a little more and let's go fuck up some aliens, you know? Like, let's get out there. Like, what are we doing? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is like a... <laughs> the other side of the internet on this is just saying that this is a... Uh, this and the Barbie movie and the Twitter change are just distraction <laughs> techniques to get the uh, the the eye off of the real issues in society. Yeah, I said this the last time we talked about aliens. It's it's become very confusing to me because the the guys who believed in the aliens used to be the conspiracy guys, and now if you're someone who watched this congressional hearing and you're like, "Damn, sounds like aliens exist," uh, you're actually now like a sheep, and it's you're you're now like the you're the guy who's got their third eye open if you're the one that's saying like no you're all being lied to there are actually no aliens and i can't keep up with like what i'm supposed to believe at this point the um, aliens are no <laughs> longer the real story they're now the distraction story what i think's going on here though is uh 1969 is the last time purdue played for a national championship they made the final four in 1980 uh they they made the national championship in 1969 and then that summer, we landed on the moon, TJ. Neil Armstrong, a Purdue alum, landed on the moon. What I think is going on here, as we're entering a season where Purdue will make the Final Four, as I told my dad, breaking news, Purdue will make the Final Four this year. I will will it to into existence. Uh, I don't want it to happen, but it's going to happen because m my mother deserves it. Um, I think the aliens are waiting for Purdue to make the national championship or the Final Four again. Then they're going to attack us for revenge on Neil Armstrong because Neil Armstrong is basically if you think about it he's basically like the first space colonizer and he's like Christopher Columbus bringing smallpox to the aliens and I think the aliens have been biding their time this whole time they've been waiting because like like and they got a little sloppy with the you know like they, they accidentally like one ship accidentally crashed and we we took a couple of them hostage um but the, the ultimate plan for them is they're going to come fuck shit up when Purdue is about to win a national championship. So that way Purdue can never win a national championship because they're because they're bitter about Neil Armstrong being a colonizer. Your thoughts? I would love to see the look on your dad's face when the aliens <laughs> yeah. land during the My middle of a Purdue like, game. Yeah! <laughs> My dad's like fist pumping. Yeah, I'm team aliens. <laughs> Go aliens. Can you imagine the UFO just like descending on the the stadium as they're about to tip off the national championship game and, and my dad's losing his mind and, and I'm looking at him I'm like, dad, this means like, they're going to kill us. They're going to enslave and kill us all. He's like, doesn't matter. Purdue's not winning a banner. <laughs> Jim Nance would be so pissed That's that he was retired. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>